one. Eli, Federico, oh, nice to meet you. Which part of the world are you now? Nice to meet you. Actually, I'm in Milan. It's really an honor and pleasure to be here with you. Thank you for oh, fantastic. Milan, my Milan. I'm originally from Milan. Do you still have, uh, how do you say, Madonnina? They are on the door, like... Uh... On the chair, on the beach. I'm so originally from Turin. To steal it. I'm, from, I'm originally from Turin. I'm living in Veneto since a while, but Milan is always our headquarter office. So here we are. Oh, fantastic. Um, by the way, Mi Milan has uh, improved a lot in after Expo, I would say. So um, people um, often forget. But I mean, it's, uh, it's, it's a little London, I would say. I live in UK, yeah. but it's a little London. It's, it's improved a lot. And um, what, what are you doing exactly in Luxottica for people who are not familiar with? <laughs> okay, let me let, let's start with a joke. I, I'm, I'm dealing with the funniest part of the company, and so we don't have to tell too loudly, otherwise they stop to pay me for doing that. <laughs> but I'm, I'm taking care about the upstream part of the process, that means innovation and new product for all our brands. And so really is the funniest part of the of the game. I'm I, in I, I, since since 15 years, more or less. So Oh, are. wow. 15 years. So I imagine those kind of uh, meeting where, where you arrive and say, all right, guys, let's try to experiment with the metaverse. And everyone say, oh, this is the metaverse. Yeah, let's try to do this. It's interesting because uh, I'm chatting with so many people, companies and um, experts and celebrities. Uh, and uh, I have to say that probably... The, 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 the kind of common pattern that I see in this moment is uh, they all try to experiment and try to understand what works and, and, and what doesn't. Uh, is this the kind of, of approach that you also try to, to have? Absolutely, yes. So when we, when we are talking about such disruption or such, let me say, enormous uh, innovation, normally the, the right attitude that is, first of all, to define a little bit what you can define so understanding the, the minimum principle to what you are talking about and then experimenting 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 learning by doing and only after let me say a few months or a few years it depends how, how fast or quick you are you can state yourself versus let me say the valuable corner of what you see behind this this, this disruption but they are so huge that it's really difficult to to not to not having uh, the need of experimenting and learn about it. So it's, it's absolutely what, what we are doing in the past uh, three, five years. It depends if you're talking only about wearable, or you're talking about metaverse, if you're talking about NFT, but we are still continuing experimenting and learning and not alone because you cannot do by yourself. You need to do with the, yeah. with the community of friends. I, I, I would love really to unpack all of these topics, but first I was curious about... Um, the the kind of, of approach that you need in a company like Luxottica, uh, which, which is a, a big company. And I, I have no idea how I would do some kind of innovation in such a large company. I'm used to small startups. So in a startup, it's very easy to innovate because you have nothing to lose, basically. So you can test and say, all right, if it doesn't work, no one even notices it. So and you try something different. But if a company like yours, is testing something new, everyone see, everyone is commenting about, so it's not easy at all. And also you have, you know, a, like a huge logistic productions. I mean, it's, uh, it's very complicated. So I was wondering how, how you approach it. Uh, it, it it's, it's a strange, it's a strange answer, but you have to believe me, in continuity. <laughs> What does it mean in continuity? Uh, continuity versus disruption looks like a paradox, okay? But but it's re really like that. If if you if you read the the statement of the corp the corporate statement of our company, no, Esiro Luxotica is see more, be more, okay? And this is the statement of the actual business, the analogical business, no, the the, the business that we lead since the 1961. And if you think about the metaverse and the disruption at the end is, is, is the same, is see more and be more. So experimenting and uh, enabling, like we have enabling our people, our, our customer, our friends to see better the reality through the lenses or to see better the light through the polarization is very, very similar to what we are willing to do in this new reality. So enable our friends, our, our, our stakeholder, our, our customer to see something 
and be something. So see more and be more. So it's in continuity and looks like normal. So it, it, it's it's really a disruption, but looks like normal because it is inside our DNA, is inside our yeah. mission or vision, if you can tell this. What's the, um, the, the, the structure of this um, unit? I mean, is a unit that is um, focused on, you know, thinking about Web3 and all of this kind of uh, innovation or, or uh, is not a unit, is uh, something, uh, um, is the, the company structured uh, like a person in every different sector? How, how is... Um, Uh, Luxotica organized to approach this uh, evolution? So our organization is, is very, very simple. Okay, We are a multinational on one side, but on the other side, we are really a, a simple company with an entrepreneur and we are 180,000 employees, but our organization is very simple and, and very, very tight. So our attitude is not to create uh, overstructure. It's always having inside each function, each part uh, of, of the company. So the creativity, the operation, the distribution, the OSA, the retail, someone that is dedicated always to research and development. Okay, then my function is it has the, 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 the task to connect all those kind of dots and maintain the network inside the company uh, with the attention on those disruption, on those novelties. So it's not only one department that is starting up something, but it's always a community among the organization that is taking care about the novelty in each sector. And in this case, you know, Web3 got a lot of uh, ingredients in the recipe that is from the retail to the product, to the IT, to the enable, to the, to the 3D mathematics, to the digital product. So you cannot do it separate from the company. You need to put some seeds in any part of the company and let grow the plantation with a, a kind of let me say, over control among what, what is happening around this topic. Tell me um, how, uh, got it, how, how did you um, start at the beginning to tackle this, this Web3 enigma? Because there are so many pieces of the puzzle there. Uh, there are NFTs, there is Metaverse, there are, I don't know, there is tokenization, there is a DeFi, every day something new starts. So it's very difficult to get everything and uh, also decide what's the priority, where do we start from? So step back one second and tell me when all of this uh, Web3 movement, Web3 is a, is a buzzword, but let's say this new, um, this, this new evolution or revolution, started uh, uh, where did you start from where did uh, luxotica start from so all the ingredients as, uh, like you said before of, of the web 3 they are all interconnected okay because they are each each of them they play a role okay so the web 3 itself got uh, disruptive rules because you don't have rules so is 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 the democracy of the internet on the other side the content itself is creating this 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 new reality this this metaverse this world and then there is let me say enabling something that is enabling you like the nft to surf to navigate to browse inside this new world so to give you some power to some action to do it and so they are all interconnected what we decide to do is to start a little bit in continuity like i said before with our vision so first of all to work not alone with in partnership in this case in part of the journey we have done in the past with google then with intel now with facebook with those let me say those big giants that anyhow they, they are creating then the metaverse they are creating the demand contributing like we can in enabling let me say what could be the human interface to, to leave the metaverse because the web3 apart from being uh, the, let me say the new internet and and giving you some uh, New, new, new power, okay, new, new opportunity. At the end, you need to interface with this world. And so somehow to live the real experience, we need to prepare ourselves, our product, this part of the body real estate that we used to, to dress and wear with some analogical pieces with the, the human interface to enable this kind of work. So we started in continuity with our business knowledge and approaching that with a lot of expertise and a lot of experience failing Google Glass, uh, Intel Radar Pace, uh, Electrochromic uh, Prism Gaggle with Oakley, now Rayman Story. So 
facing a sequence of products that create also the consumer habits uh, to, to deal and live uh, with uh, more information or an eyewear with some superpower. And that was the first priority. Okay, so staying with the product and, and let's say, let's start with the, the glasses and how glasses could evolve uh, and becoming more digital, basically. Approach, approaching this new world, because it's, yeah. it's a new world, especially if, when you will think about the augmented realities is really when the two, the two parallel paths, they will join sooner than later. And this is the first. The second was uh, all the collateral effect of that, because dealing with the uh, superpower, you have to deal uh, with uh, info, to, with contents, because when you deal with creators that create contents, uh, deal with uh, um, the possibility of managing your, your personal behavior, your personal value, the brand value, your product in this new way. So also experimenting some NFT with, with the brands like Ray-Ban that for us is the brand among our portfolio, experimenting, like I said before, with Oakley, some augmented reality in coaching while you are training. So experimenting and learning as much as we can, not only from ourselves, but from our consumer or from our partner, like in the case of Ray-Ban Stories with Facebook. So the core and the priority has been the continuity in between the analogical and the digital among the products immediately after the brand, the NFT, the contents, and all the, okay. the creator community around us. I, I was curious to understand, in your opinion, how, how far are we in, to, to, to be in a world where you just wear the glasses and it's like in the movies, you know, blink and that, that's it, you know, and you see around augmented reality. Okay, give me this, give me that, uh, and, uh, and it works. Uh, uh, smoothly and and it is really a good experience and it's not just a test. Are we like five years, uh, 10 years, 20 years? Well, how, how far are we from that kind of scenario in your opinion? Uh, I would personally say in between five to 10, not earlier than five and not later than 10. And you know what? The, the reason why I'm pointing at this range of, of time is due to the fact that there are still few technological barrier or technological brick okay, that is missing, especially in, in, the, in the optical engine. But all of us is working on it since a while. So it's, it's a matter of, of time, of effort. Okay. So I cannot imagine that we will need more than 10 years, but I cannot imagine that everything will be ready uh, in a few years. So at the smoothest level. Then naturally, we will start with some tech experience. Okay, we've done some... Uh, cutting edge uh, testing especially for creator to uh, to enable a user to create uh, use cases uh, word and, and connecting all all the creativity in this new world but from a smoothless point of view use uh, among all the community i'm assuming that seven ten years is, is the right is the right time where we can Im Im imagine those kind of reality coming up and uh, I remember a few years ago went viral uh, this kind of lens. The idea was, oh gosh, you'll have a contact lens with all the info and, uh, and that's it, you know, that will solve so many problems, you'll become superhuman basically. And, um, and then I think I was reading a few articles describing how much harder was doing something just in a lens instead of a, of a pair of glasses. Uh, again, is something that first are, are, will come glasses and then lens will evolve once we have the technology. What's the situation there? What do you think? I'm imagining sometimes, you know, when, when you're imagining the future, we've got a huge limitation being human that we project our, our past experience, imagine that the future will be like that. So what I can imagine today with my limitation of projecting the future is that the sequence will be more or less similar to what happened, let me say, in the mobile phone. Or so. so I'm expecting that, that the gaming and, and the full gaggle experience like virtual reality, we will experiment a lot of this kind of possibility. Then step by step, we become more and more an eyewear, okay, an eyewear or something that, because this part of the body real estate got all the sensor that we need to, to, to yeah. interact with a good experience. No, you need to talk, to, to look, you to receive info, to capture, to listen. So at the end, this is the area where, where the experience will be. 
before getting in a single small contact lenses uh, that that will take really time so it is the last barrier that you can imagine because anyhow you need to have some energy harvesting to alimentate this you need yeah. to have any kind of future way top uh, of the future of the bluetooth of the future to communicate but you need to communicate no more with a mobile probably directly with the network but at the end you need to transmit and so the miniaturization is is always running like a hell and so every year we got good surprise but before getting in a contact lenses I'm is a long shot is a long shot but the okay. sequence with the limitation of my human being of projecting the past in the future that doesn't mean that will be the right one got it tell me about nfts <clears throat> nft is really hot topic uh, there is uh, some kind of um, it's a weird reaction that i see when i just say the word nft there are some people that immediately insult me uh, people attacking me like um, ferociously it's just i don't know why this this um this, this new word attracted so much um, extremism <laughs> i don't know but uh, on the other side there are so many companies doing interesting stuff in nfts and moving from just the artistic way of seeing NFT to a utility NFT world where you buy an NFT and you get access to several product services or, or, or things. Uh, where do, does Luxottica stay in this huge spectrum? Let me start with 30 seconds of a, jo of a joke, okay? Yeah. The, the best definition of NFT today, if you're looking in any vocabulary, is paradox, okay? Because at the end, can be nothing of everything it depends on the point of view okay so it's yeah. really can be nothing if you think about in a manner that is a pure reality say it's nothing it's not a product it's not a it's not a coin it's not a, it's enabling you to do nothing it's not a ticket it's not, so and and this is naturally the reaction that if you got that point of view generate someone that will insult you okay and this is yeah. Is it one point? The paradox on the other side is that it could be everything. Because if you enter really in the new point of view where the reality is really a mix of, of digital and physical, at the point can be everything. So can be a product, can be a ticket, can be a token, can be a coin. So it can be a value, no? can be a value that can give you a power, can give a key, give you access, so can give everything. So my answer to your question, why there is those kind of reaction, because when you are talking about the paradox, it could be everything, okay? It can be uh, negative and positive. It can be nothing and everything. And so this is the most difficult part of imagine what could be. And so if you find someone that falling in love immediately with the new point of view, they look, they, keep, they become crazy, you know, and you try to do everything. Like it was at the beginning with the first internet, you try to communicate, you try to advertise, you try to sell, you try to do business, you try to do art. And so like it is today, what we can again imagine is that uh, probably today we are in the middle. And so we are trying to base ourselves being a company. And so not being only a private, because the, major, the majority of the activity today, they are, originated by private private person okay so private initiative because it's the beautiness of this you can do whatever you want by being a single so single person so the company and the corporate today they are trying to facing test learn in a more balanced way and so also our company tested nft we have done uh, with extra vag uh, some test uh, uh, we, we, we international international because you, you cannot be national you need to start with we started with berlin creating some artistic stuff on on rayban creating some charity moment around because it's not a business we want to test ourselves and we want to test in in a proudly manner not not in a in a pure business manner but it's a little bit more balanced the approach so it's not uh, is not negative and is not positive is consciousness and doing with the consciousness doing the, the journey because it's a journey so you can plan it but the best part of the journey will be during the journey itself definitely do you see any specific use for nfts in in the future for for a company like luxottica i was thinking for instance about everyone um who, who need glasses and maybe they say um Okay, maybe I, I could have a sort of subscription where I, every, you know, um, three months I get a new pair of glasses uh, 
if I have the NFT or, you know, I can have um, <clears throat> priority access to new um, collection or new kind of lenses. I don't know. I, I was thinking if uh, you were planning or thinking about this kind of uses. Yeah, today we are mainly planning in the extension, okay, in the superpower of what you can do in some roadmap that we are already experimenting, okay? Because in our retail today, in the brick and mortar, in the normal reality, you can subscribe, okay? If you today yeah. in Milan, you go in somewhere like you, know, you can subscribe your, yeah. your frames or your, you can subscribe your visit, your optical checks. So absolutely that is a continuity, you know, coming back to my previous sentence, is a continuity with enhancing superpower. The same is also to support you in your be more, okay? So today in, there is a, a good percentage of wearing a glasses where you set a little bit your statement, you set a little bit your image because you're in your, it's in your face. So it's, it's not yeah. uh, a watch, it's in your face. So it's, it's giving you character. So see more, be more. And so what we can imagine the, the NFT is a kind of continuation. Today we use already virtual try-on to give you the possibility to virtually look, test more frames and share the images before buying a frame with your friends, how you look, uh, how you feel safe, how you feel ignited no, by, by this appearance. And so we are imagining that could be the same. So you can also buy or, or ask for digital, digital NFT product to announce your real appearance or your avatar appearance or give you some superpower among, I don't know, your gaming or so on. So is an extension of what could be a virtual try-on today, is an extension of what could be a subscription today, is an extension of what could be a purchasing experience in a store, but uh, in, in the reality of the metaverse, so will be probably in a field. So today, just to give you an example, no, we got brands that they are a lot connected or with the music, Ray-Ban, or with the sport performance, Oakley, or together with our friends and partners in the fashion, no? with the license. And so I'm expecting that each of us and each of this brand will announce the experience that they are promising in the reality, in the today reality, among the future reality. And so NFT will be, will be the key.